What's going on, guys? Joe Twins back at you with another video. Week 14 picks. Let's get to it. No teams are on by. Thursday night game should be a very fun, exciting game, man. Saints at the Falcons. Saints are on a fucking roll. And, and the Falcons are still are looking to stay in the playoff picture. Oh, should be a, this should be a very good game. Um, um, but the Saints are just too powerful. Yeah, I think they're just too hot right now, especially the rushing offense, especially Alvin Kamara. Yeah, Alvin Kamara. Well, he's he's he, playing all of his mind. He's he's, 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 he's he's winning rookie of the year. He probably offensive is. rookie. Of the it would year. not surprise me. He is a monster. He is a monster. He really is, man. So I'm gonna go with the Saints. Yeah, I got the Saints. However, Marshawn Lattimore. Versus uh, Julio Jones should be a fun matchup. Yeah, that's gonna be a great matchup, man. Yeah. Lattimore is one of the best young cornerbacks uh, uh, right now. This is his rookie season. He's performing very well. Yep. So him against Julio Jones is gonna be a true test, and uh, should be a f fun matchup. Either way, it should be a good game. But I got the Saints. Saints. Sunday games: Colts at the Bills. Bills. Uh, Tyrod Taylor did suffer. Uh, I think it was what a knee injury or something, but it is day to day. Um. If he's not playing, I don't know who's starting. If it's Nathan Peterman, I mean, going up against the Colts, I mean, I don't, I don't freaking know. But I'm going to go with the Bills. Yeah, I got the Bills. <sighs> NFC East matchup. Cowboys at the Giants. Ben McAdoo is finally fired. So and Eli Manning, after sitting out for one week, is back as the starter. So much for that 10 game uh, consecutive start streak. Just... Snap it, and then he starts. So we got to restart the whole fucking streak again, I guess. Is he going to last 210 consecutive games? No. No. Cowboys? No. I got the Cowboys. Lions at the Bucks. Matthew Stafford did suffer an injury against the Ravens. I believe it was a hand injury, but I don't think it's as severe as a lot of people thought. Right. So. Uh, but I got the Lions here. The Lions are fighting for a playoff spot and fighting for that NFC North uh, first place, so should be. Uh, I don't know what the Vikings, you know, playing the way they are. I think maybe they could be second place at least. Oh yeah, not, yeah, not first place. I'm sorry, yeah, uh, second place. Um, but Lions. Yeah, I got the Lions. Buccaneers have been a big disappointment. Yeah, they have, but who knows? They could be a really good wild card team next next year. Well, I don't know. We'll it would not surprise me. They just need a little bit more improvement. Oh yeah. So I mean, we'll see. But I got the Lions. Mm -hmm. AFC West matchup. Uh. First time these two teams faced off. It was uh, one of the best games of the season. Probably the best game of the season yeah. so far. Raiders at the Chiefs. Chiefs, you guys are... What the hell happened to you guys? It's like you were literally on top of the mountain, and you were literally about to plant in your flag. And when you face the make Steelers... Your, basically make your mark. Basically. And the Steelers... When you face the Steelers, they literally knocked you down. They pushed you off the fucking mountain. And the Steelers were like, no, this is our territory. Right now, the Steelers are number one in the AFC, and the Chiefs were that. Right. But not anymore. They're like number four. Yeah, and the Raiders are, uh, well, these two teams are fighting for the number one spot in the AFC West, plus the Chargers. Uh, I got the Raiders here. Yeah, the, I mean, I, I just I don't know what's up with the Chiefs. I mean, Kareem Hunt's not being the explosive player he used to be. Tyreek nah. Tyree Hill, I mean, he had a fantastic game, but he hasn't done anything in quite a while. And their, I, and their defense is uh, not too well right now. Especially in the red zone, a lot of penalties. Yeah. A lot of penalties, so the Raiders. Raiders. 49ers at the Texans. Uh, I got the... Mm. Shoot. Ooh. Uh, this will probably be a low score. This pro this will probably be a low-scoring matchup. Uh, but I got the Niners. For some reason, I don't know why, uh, but I got the Niners. I don't know. I'm going to go with the Texans on this one, dude. I don't know. Uh, I could see the Texans winning, but for, for some reason, I... I can't explain it. I got the Niners. I don't know. I'm 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 gonna go with the Texans. Yeah, but uh, I can see Texans winning. But I got the Niners for yeah. some odd reason. Yeah. Packers at the Browns. Uh, Packers. Packers. Browns. Oh my God! A favorite I was playing. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, the Browns, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, not, not, nothing to say about them. No. Not Packers. At least you tried. <laughs> I guess. But I got the Packers. Packers. Bears at the Bengals. Bungles. Um. I have hmm. the Bengals. I got the Bengals. Yeah, Bengals. Bears. I mean, they got talent, but I'm like, well, first of all, their that. passing offense sucks. Uh, they're rushing. They got no targets. Yeah, uh, and the rushing offense hasn't done anything. Joy Howard's been shut down the past couple weeks. Yeah. So, uh, and the Bengals are, you know, I mean, they choked. Yeah, they but blew, they, they blew a lead. But, but I mean, they're still a good team. Right. I so mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, they got some good players, but Bengals. Yeah, Bengals. Vikings at the Panthers. Should be another great fucking game. God damn, there's a lot of good games this week. Um, mm. Vikings are looking too fucking strong. I got the Vikings. 
Panthers just come out uh, come off a devastating loss to the Saints. Ooh. Vikings. Yeah, I got Vikings the, are looking tremendous. Should be a great game though. Should oh be yeah. A good game, but I got the Vikings. Redskins at the Chargers. Chargers. This is this is a big. Uh, game. This, this is a big game for the Chargers. I don't know. Washington was able to beat Seattle in Seattle, but that was like a couple weeks back. Um. Chargers are looking very good though. Keenan Allen versus Josh Norman should be a good matchup too. Mm-hmm. Mmm, man. Ah, I got the truck. Mm, I don't know. I really, I really uh, don't know. I'm gonna go with the Chargers on this one. Chargers are going to try to get that number one spot. Try to fight with the Raiders and Chiefs. All right. Try to get you know playoff spot. Um. So I'm gonna go with the Chargers. So it's very crucial for the Chargers. I don't think the Redskins are gonna get to the playoffs whatsoever. So right. this is more important for the Chargers, really. Uh. Let's see. Um. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll just go with the Chargers. I'll go with the Chargers. Why not? Yeah, Chargers. Next game, Jets at the Broncos. Uh, this might be, uh, I don't J know. Jets. Jets. Broncos are just god awful. <laughs> they, they are just, they are god awful. Terry Simmons couldn't do it. They couldn't do anything against Miami, and they're trash. Jets are winning this by a land plot. Yeah. Titans at the Card <laughs> Titans at the Cardinals. Uh, Titans. Yeah, Titans, Titans are looking very good. Titans. Yeah. Eagles at the Rams. This should be a damn good matchup. Eagles just came off a big loss to Seattle. This should be a damn good matchup. Um. <sighs> ooh. Wow. I the two, have the first two overall picks from last year's draft. Yeah, this should be a damn good match. I'm definitely watching this game. Wow. Doubt. Uh, well, I'm switching back between this game and the next game. I think I already know who's commentating this game. Um. But whatever. It is what it is. But, um... I had the Rams. Um, the Eagles did not look too good against the Seahawks. I mean, this it just their... shows you what... You know, they weren't able to face any big caliber team besides the Panthers. But that's the only team that they beat that's over 500. Right. Uh, so, and the Rams are looking freaking fantastic. But... So, oh, wow. I had the Rams. I, I'm going to have to go with the Rams on this one. Yeah, I got the Rams. It should, should be, be a damn, damn good da game. Yeah, damn good matchup. But I got the Rams. Yep. Seahawks at the Jaguars this should be another damn good game. Should be another good game. Good afternoon games, holy moly! Yeah, um, uh, I have. Man, Jaguars and Titans are fighting for their number one spot, plus playoff spot too. Um, and this game is mm. important for both teams. And Seattle is trying to get in the playoffs too. Right. Uh, but you gotta think mm. Russell Wilson, who is fucking beyond crazy this season. Yeah, uh, MVP I, I, I believe out of the 30 touchdowns that Seahawks have. He's part of 29 of them. Yeah. I think 29. I, I think the only one was like, what, Eddie Lacy or J.D. Day McKissick in a rushing touch? I don't think Yeah, that. Uh, but. Uh, Seahawks. Russell Wilson's beat up some damn good defenses, though. Yeah, it's Seahawks. hard to stop them, so Seahawks. Seahawks. But it should be a damn good matchup. Yeah. It should be a close game. So, I that football, man. AFC North showdown. AFC North battle. Ravens, Ravens at the Steelers. Ravens are trying to be trying to get a playoffs, but stay in the playoffs. And the Steelers are trying to stay up there for number one seed in the AFC with the Patriots. And they're trying to win the AFC North. Stakes are high for both teams, so you, you better, you know, damn well this is going to be a Hell of a fun game. We could very well see some old school Ravens versus Steelers football, man. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, this I I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually a little worried about this game because the Ravens are looking hot right now. They're on a little hot streak, yeah. And this this but, game ain't gonna be no cakewalk for either one of them. Oh hell no, no, de definitely not. Um, I have big confidence in the Steelers though. The way they've been, I mean, the way they've been playing the past couple weeks, they've been kind of struggling a bit. But the second half, they've been playing. Fantastic, though. Right, but that cannot happen with this game. It cannot. Yeah, they have they have to upgrade. The uh, defense has to upgrade with the losses of uh, Ryan Shazier and uh, Joe Hayden, and uh, this offense. You know, it's got to keep doing what they're doing, but upgrade this a guy, little bit. Got to get through this defense. Of the yeah, Ravens, a, so. a scary fucking physical but, ass, really but good defense. I'm gonna go with the Steelers on this one. I have the Steelers, but this game is definitely gonna be close. If they all could, could come down to another Chris Boswell field goal, man. I don't know, dude. If I, I think this game, this game, without a doubt, will come, will, will come within three points. I mean, usually it always is. Usually, yeah. without a doubt. So should be a damn good game though. But I, I'm confident. I got Steelers. Steelers should be a very good game though. I, I am excited.
Yep. In the closeout, week 14, guys, Monday Night Football, we got the New England Patriots at the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, the, the, uh, yeah, well, the, the Patriots are winning this. I th- they, they, honestly, they might blow the Dolphins out. The Dolphins had a tremendous performance, but it was against the Broncos. And who the fuck against- are the Broncos now? Nobody's. So, so the Patriots, you know, they're still trying to stay up there for number one or number two, really. Mainly number one. Yeah, of course they're going to go for number one, but so are we. Um, of course. But either way, so, uh, I got the Patriots. Patriots. I think Patriots could blow them out here. Yeah, anyway, guys, that not surprise me. Yeah, anyway, guys, that's our week 14 picks. Uh, give us your predictions in the comments below. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy football this weekend. Hope you guys enjoy any games or any activities that you're doing this weekend. And holy hell, it should be a damn good week of football, man. See you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the